Everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, my part was um, Romans 14. I'm going to read all of it. Okay. So, uh, Romans 14. Okay. Chapter 1, faith speak without quarreling over dispute matters. One person's faith allows them to eat anything, but another whose faith is weak, vegetable. One who eats everything must not treat with contempt the one who does not. Does not eat everything, must not judge one who does. For God accepts them. Accepts them. Who are you to judge someone else's servant? Your own master, servants stand or fall. They will stand. The Lord is able to make them stand. Mm-hmm. One person considers one day more sacred than the other, sacred than the other. The other considers every day alike. Each of them should be fully convinced in their own mind. Whoever regards one day as special does so to the Lord. Ever eat meat does so to the Lord. For they give thanks to God. Ever abstain, abstain does, does so to the Lord and give thanks to God. For none of us, none of us lives for ourselves alone. None of us dies for ourselves alone. If we live, we live for the Lord. Yes. Die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Yes. For this very reason, Christ died and returned to life, that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. You then, why do you judge your brother or your sister? Or why do you treat them with contempt? For we will all stand before God's judgment seat. It is written, As surely as I live, says the Lord. Every knee will bow before me. Every tongue will acknowledge God. So then, each of us will give an account of ourselves to God. Therefore, let us stop passing judgment on one another. Said, take up your mind not to put any stumbling blocks or obstacles in the way of a brother or sister. But if anyone regards something as unclean, then for that person it is unclean. If your brother or sister is distressed, what you eat are no longer acting in love. Not for eating destroys someone from whom Christ died. Therefore, do not let what you know is good to be spoken of as evil. The kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness. Does anyone who serves Christ in this way, God, and receives... Let us, therefore... destroy the work of God for the sake of food. All food is clean, but it is wrong for a person to eat anything that causes someone else to stumble. Better not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything else that will cause your brother or sister to fall. Whatever you believe about these things is the one who does not condemn himself by what he approves. But whoever a doubt is contempt and if they eat because their eating is not from faith and everything does not come from faith then mm-hmm. and praise God amen amen you were cutting in and out there sometimes so what I didn't realize that you had finished God bless you and God thank bless. you for amen for that Romans chapter 14 Praise the Lord.
I'm going to ask uh, Deacon Carol if she would come and share the scripture that is the base of our message uh, this morning. Deacon Carol, open your mic, please. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, thank you, Lord. I thank him to bless his inspiring words. I'm reading from John 8, verse 34. You are uh, your father, the devil, and the desire of your father who wants to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resource. For he is a liar and the father of it. But because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Which of you convicts me of sin and if I tell the truth why do you not believe me he who is of God hears God's word therefore you do not hear because you are not of God Amen Praise the name of the Lord Praise yes. God Amen, Amen. Come into minister Amen. this morning uh, to us on this September the 5th is Evangelist Deborah Weston out of New York. God bless her as she comes. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, first, I want to apologize if you hear any background noise they're doing some renovations in my building and i have no control over that all right so, <laughs> i apologize um, yes I, i'm a correct i'm a correct the bishop that your your name is deborah deborah uh, okay. not deborah yes. okay. <laughs> praise god amen you're not going to say anything <laughs> Uh uh, because the last time I stand I corrected, so, I, last time I did something with her name, but she was on the line telling me about myself. <laughs> yes, she felt slighted because I didn't put Deborah Ann. I was like, Oh, <laughs> remember, remember to be nice, people. We're on tape. Yes, well, I love my family. evangelist. This is how family gets along, so absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Why can't I see myself? <laughs> I see you. You look beautiful. You see me? I can't yeah. see myself. <laughs> okay. That's enough. Anyway. Um, God, beautiful. God. <laughs> yes. She is <laughs> looking you. lovely. Amen. And your, God bless and your furniture is fabulous. Amen. <laughs> God like, bless you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I'm, a, I'm an eclectic girl. You know yes. how I am. So. Yes. Okay. Um, this morning, this uh, message that I am bringing this morning um, was based on a devotional I did over seven years ago. Um, and I've adapted it for this particular message. And it kind of hits home because I'm also doing another 40-day devotional on my own, and it has to do with healing of the heart. So um, I had shared with the bishop that I had writer's block, and I didn't know what I was going to write about. But after I did my devotional, the Holy Spirit said, this is what you're going to talk about for Sunday. Amen. So Amen. I said, okay, through the tears, I was like, okay. <laughs> Amen. That's that's what I told the bishop. I was like, she got to get the writer out the way and let the Holy Spirit come yeah. and do the writing. Amen. Amen. So the title of my message, I'm going to try not to keep you long, but once again, the spirit's in control and I don't know where he's going to lead me. Mm -hmm. So uh, the title is Plucking the Weeds of Lies. Mm -hmm. Plucking the weeds. the weeds of Lies. Yes. 
Amen. Now, as Deacon already read to you, the devil is the father of lies. There is no truth in him. Mm -hmm. And for this purpose, the Bible likes to use a lot of um, similarities to what's going on in our current life. Like with the fishermen, he talks about he wants to make them fishers of men in addition to being just fishers. Yeah. Um, so when I talk about weeds, we know those of us who have yards or have had to tend to gardens that weeds can basically kill your garden. Mm -hmm. It chokes the life out of your garden. Mm -hmm. I looked up weeds and, and I referred it to in our lives. It's those unpleasant circumstances, emotions, thoughts, or words that creep into our lives. And before we know it, they have choked the life out of the things that really do matter. Mm -hmm. And there are different variations of, dand of weeds, but we all are familiar with the dandelion. It starts out as this cute little yellow, but as it transitions, it turns into that little white puff. And as children, we was like, oh, make a wish, make a wish, make a wish. But these are actually weeds where their root can be as long as 10 inches long. Mm -hmm. And it's very difficult to remove that particular weed. And the little puff is actually seeds. So when they disperse, it's going wherever they land. And that means another weed is going to pop up. Mm -hmm. And just like the devil, he's a weed of destruction. It says he comes to kill and destroy. Yes. So I want you to keep that in mind as you hear me go back and forth about the devil of the lies and the weed of lies. They're the same one for this message. Second Corinthians 10, three to five and the amplifier says, we are human, but we don't wage war as humans do. We use God's mighty weapons, not worldly weapons to knock down the strongholds of human reasoning and to destroy false arguments. Yes. We destroy every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing God. We capture their rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey Christ. Mm -hmm. As we know, Jesus has identified the devil as the father of lies. But I want us all to understand that he is not the sole reason that we have weeds of lies in our hearts. We also cause those weeds of lies mm. in the way that we think and the words that we speak about ourselves. Yes. But God is the awesome, ultimate weed controller. Hmm. Mm. All right. Hallelujah. He is far more powerful than anything we can ever be. You know, for a weed, you either use your hand or a tool or chemicals. God is more powerful than any of that because it's man-made. Amen. We need to understand that we can't stop the lies of the devil. That's just who he is. But yes. when we study God's word and we learn to overcome the enemy and his lies by being obedient to Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, each section that I'm going to go through, we're going to have a little prayer at the end. Amen. So the prayer for this section is, Abba, Father. We thank you for always speaking to us. Help us to identify the lies that the enemy speaks to us so that we can overcome with your truths. We trust that you will empower us to pluck the weeds of lies that exist in our hearts and minds. In Jesus' name, Jesus name. Amen. 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 The next weed we have is the weed of insecurity. But in that, we need to know that in our insecurity, God says, I am. Matthew 3, 16 to 17 in the New King James Version says, when he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water and behold, the heavens were open to him and he saw the spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in mm -hmm. whom I am well pleased. 
The lie of insecurity makes us focus on our imperfections. Yes. And many times when we continue to focus on them, we start to believe that those imperfections define who we are as a person. Mm. Newsflash, God knows all our imperfections. Yes, he does. <laughs> Ooh. He knows all of our imperfections and he knows what they are better yes, than we do. Yes, he does. God knows everything that's wrong with us and why it's wrong. We all need to right. understand that. He knows and he knows why it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Yet when he talks about who we are, he says, mm -hmm. we are fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. Mm -hmm. We are sealed with his promise and we are redeemed. Yes. In Matthew 4, you will see that Jesus was able to defeat the lies of Satan because he knew previously in Matthew 3 when he was baptized that his father affirmed his love for him by saying, this is my beloved my son and yes. whom I am well pleased. Mm -hmm. Jesus knew his father loved him. And was mm -hmm. pleased with him. He was able to defeat the devil and his lies because he did not depend on his own strength. All right. And his own opinion of himself. Remember, right. Proverbs 3, 5 said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. All, all right. right. And another thing, his strength didn't come from the opinions of other people of him. Mm-hmm. Proverbs 29, 25 says, fearing people is a dangerous trap, but trusting the Lord means safety. safety. He yes. drew his strength solely from the words of his wow. heavenly father. How many of us, self-included, walk around worrying about what other people say about us? Mm. That's Ooh. a lie of the devil. Yes. God speaks the same word over us. He says, I am pleased with Bishop David. I am pleased with Apostle Melvita. Mm -hmm. I am pleased with Elder LeMay. And please yes. don't take it to heart that I'm not mentioning your name. You can replace your name with it too. But Amen. for examples, he is pleased with every single one of us that are listening to my voice right now. Amen. God speaks the same word Amen. over us every day. We just have to listen. Mind yes. you, there's a difference between hearing and listening. Mm -hmm. If we ignore the devil's lies and focus on these words, God says, I am. Yes. Then we don't have to live up to expectations of others or even our own because we put unnecessary expectations on ourselves, right. forgetting where the true power comes from. Our Lord. Instead, we can begin to live out the perfect affirmation already given to us by our Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, we yes. thank you for making each one of us unique. Um, Your purpose for our lives far exceeds our abilities or expectations. Mm. Teach us to lean solely on what you say about yes, us. Yes, God. Mm. In Jesus' name. In the name amen. of Jesus. Amen. 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 I'm going to try, y'all, because like I said, this hits home with me. So, So pray for me. Amen. Pray for me. Move, Holy Spirit. The next one is the weed of fear. And in that, God says, he will. Mm. First John 4, 17 to 18. I like it in the message version. God is love. When we take up permanent residence in a life of love, we live in God and God lives in us. This way, love has the run of the house, mm -hmm. becomes at home and mature in us so that we're free of worry on judgment day. Our standing in the world is identical with Christ. Mm -hmm. There is no room in love for fear. Well-formed love banishes fear. Mm -hmm. Since fear is crippling, a fearful life, fear of death, Fear of judgment is not yet fully formed in love. Mm -hmm. My Lord. Mm -hmm. That weed of fear creates the sentence in us of what if scenarios. 
that mm. definitely can hold us back when we try to lean on our own understanding. Yes. Some of these examples are, what if I fail? What if I lose someone close to me? What if I never get what I'm praying for? If we don't o learn to overcome fear, it will rob us of the life that God planned for us. Yes, it will. God has given us everything we need to fight back and win. Mm -hmm. When that weed of fear pops up and causes those thoughts of what if, we can pluck that weed with these words. God says he will. Mm. When we ask ourselves, what if I fail? God says he will pick me up and fully restore me. That's what he says. What if I lose someone close to me? Mm -hmm. God says, I will comfort you. Yes. yes. If I never get what I'm praying for, God says he will provide everything. That Every Hallelujah. Needs. Yes, he does. When we truly listen to God's word, we'll see that his perfect love can pluck fear out of our lives and lead us safely into his will. Yes. Lord, thank you for being greater than all my fears. Mm. Your perfect love has more power than anything the enemy will throw at us. Yes. Mm. Open our eyes so we may see how you are fighting for us. Mm. In Jesus' name. In the name of amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. The next weed of lies is the weed of condemnation. Mm. God says he has. Romans 8, 1 to 2 in the New King James Version says, and it starts off free from indwelling sin. That's the title. There is therefore no, excuse me, there is therefore now no Man, condemnation no. Mm -hmm. to those who are in Christ Jesus, who oh. do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit okay. for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Mm -hmm. God knows that we're not perfect and yes, that we make mistakes. Yes, he does. But guess what? He gave us the gift of the Holy spirit mm. to help us to know when we're doing something wrong. It's called conviction. Conviction. We are all sinners and vulnerable to the lies of condemnation. Mm. When we allow the devil to make us focus on our sins mm. more than our conviction from the Holy Spirit, it can be twisted into condemnation. Yes. And it creates a brutal pattern of self-inflicted lies that may sound something like this. I can't believe I just did that. Mm. I screwed up this time actually yes i can i always screw things up oh my that's what i do i'm a screw up mm. wow now, we either say these things to ourselves like i said weeds in our own hearts or other people say them to us mm. it's still a weed and it's still a lie yes mm. yes mm. The lie of condemnation will use shame to convince us that one mistake Help us. cuts our soul identity. And when we need God most, that's when we feel we can't come in his presence. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Ouch. But guess what? When we are in the Lord's presence, there is no disapproval of who you are. Because when he looks at you as his daughter or son, he sees you through the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Yes. What you will experience is his infinite kindness and his forgiveness. Mm. So God says he has already forgiven us. Hallelujah. So we should never feel condemned. And mm. God says he has erased all condemnation yes. for those who know his son. Yes. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank if you, Lord. If we listen to God's voice, we'll only hear his truths that mm. cannot be twisted by the lies of the devil. Hallelujah. Mm. Abba Father, we thank you for thank your you. infinite forgiveness. No matter how far we may feel from you, you Jesus. always keep your promise that you will never leave nor forsake us. Yes, thank mm. you, God. Let go of all condemnation today. Yes. We are 
grateful that you have already forgiven us. Yes, God. Mm -hmm. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. The next weed of lies is the weed of discouragement. But God says, I can. Ephesians 3, 20 to 21 in the NLT says, Now all glory to God, who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Mm -hmm. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations. Yes, ever and ever. Amen. Amen. What I want us all to understand is while we're here on earth, the devil's lies are not going away. Mm, it is a daily battle every yep. single day. Yes. When we are trying to have a deeper relationship with God, there are times when we will be discouraged. Mm -hmm. I know I've shared with the apostle when I was in a, a, a devotional and I got a certain message on a text. Mm. The devil is always yeah. working. Yes, he is, honey. Always. <laughs> <laughs> But Jesus. you know what? Sometimes our discouragement is not due to our lack of faith in God. Right. <laughs> it's because we don't believe in ourselves. Oh, oh my. God. Oh my God. As oh believers, my. of course, we don't doubt that God exists. We don't doubt that he created the universe. We don't doubt that he sent his only son to die on the cross for our sins. That mm -hmm. we may have eternal life in heaven with him. We don't doubt that. No, we don't. What we do doubt is our ability mm -hmm. to be a vessel, a wow. vessel that is obedient to the will of God. Yes. Even with Moses, he had a stuttering. He was making excuses. Yes. God, why are you? He's like, look, I'll give you Aaron to go with you. Enough okay. Excuses. Enough. <laughs> Hallelujah. Enough. How many of us do that? Yes. And I know, personally speaking, I feel fear what God has in store with me because God don't do little things. That's oh right. My God. Great, big, miraculous yes. things. Yes. My God. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Amen. So when we have that feeling of discouragement, it may sound something like this. Mm -hmm. There's no way I can do that. Mm. I know God is powerful, but I am nowhere near ready to be used by All him. Right. All, All right. right. All right. All right. Mm, my God. Mm, mm, mm. It's true. Mm. On our own, none of us, I mean, none of us are prepared to do the miraculous things that God has assigned to us. Uh -huh. And I use a sign for a reason because every single one of us has an assignment. Yes. Peter walked on the water. David was able to lead God's people and Abraham was a hundred and Sarah was 90 when they had Isaac. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you know why? Cause God says I can. Mm -hmm. So when the weed of discouragement pops up and makes you think things like I can't, I'm not, or I won't be mm -hmm. ready to pluck it with God says yeah, I, can. I can. I Amen. can. Yes. God, we thank you for the encouragement you speak over our lives. Yes. yes. You are infinitely powerful, yet gracious enough to use imperfect people like us. Jesus. Bless us with the faith and trust to know that you have strategically placed us where we are today to mm. satisfy your will. Yes. In Jesus' name. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Now, we know in life there are a lot more weeds, and I'm coming towards the end. But one thing I want to assure you of as saints, we got this. Mm, okay. Okay. You know, you know how we got this, and I'm not going to read the whole thing. Ephesians 6, we know what that is, the yes. whole armor of God. And I'm just going to focus on the very first sentence. Be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Yes, That's ma'am. That's what it needs to know. So when them weeds start popping up, you got the power of the Lord to pluck them. Yes. One by one. One Anytime by one. Anytime they rear their ugly head, pluck it. God mm -hmm. says this. Hallelujah. God. Amen. 
We need to remember that weeds of lies are going to pop up in our lives. Yes. But if we focus on God's word and listen to his voice above all others and even our own, in other words, don't self-sabotage yourself. Come on. The easier it will be to overcome the lies of insecurity, fear, condemnation, and discouragement. Mm. Lord, we thank you yes. for equipping us with the tools to hear your voice. Thank you, over all others. You have given us everything we need to stop the enemy's advances in their tracks. Mm. Give us the faith to turn to you and the strength to pluck the weeds of lies every single day. Every day. Uh, Jesus' Amen. name. Hallelujah. Amen. Right now, I want to talk to my brothers and sisters who are dealing with their own weeds of lies. Mm -hmm. You're dealing with weeds of, I'm no good. I'm worthless. Nobody loves me. God doesn't love me. I'm trying to change, but people still want to look at my past. Mm -hmm. Those are weeds of lies. They are weeds of lies from the devil. Yes. So right now, I'm not going to keep you long. I humbly come before you and ask if you want the power to start plucking those weeds. Accept Jesus. Yes. As your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Right now. Right mm -hmm. now. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever your Hallelujah. situation is right now. Thank you, Jesus. Just say this little prayer with me. Mm. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I admit I'm a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I, need and want your I forgiveness. accept your death as the penalty for my sins and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. By faith, I receive you into my heart as the son of God and as savior and Lord of my life. Yes, God. Now on, help me to live for you, Lord, mm. you in control. And I ask this in the name of the precious son of Jesus. Amen. 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 I love God. you all and to God be the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to his name. Thank Amen. You, Bishop, may I? Yes, go ahead. Uh, and for all of those who said that prayer, um, and uh, you believe that Jesus is Lord and that he died for you. We welcome you into the family and the household of faith. I just wanted to say a little something um, about what the evangelist was talking about as far as the enemy being the father of lies. And the word says that he was a murderer from, be from the beginning because we know that lies can kill. Yes. Sometimes lies can kill physically. Yes. But let's take it to the next level. Lies can kill on a spiritual level. Lies can kill a person's reputation. Yes. Lies can kill a person's um, well-being. Lies are very destructive. But let me tell you something that, that the Holy Spirit revealed to me, and I'm going to share it. Amen. Sometimes we're sitting around and and, you know, we're dealing with an issue and we hear a voice speaking to us mm. things that are contrary yes. to what God says in his word. Let me let you understand something. When the enemy is trying to infiltrate your thoughts. Yes. And he can do that, by the way. I want you to know that the enemy is very powerful and he can influence us if we have a door open to be influenced. He will speak things to us. But let me tell you how he does it. He speaks it in first person tense mm. so that you think it's your thought. Wow. OK, the devil will say, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I'm not good enough to do that. I don't know why this person thinks the devil will use the word I to make you think the thought is your own thought. But it is wow. not. And because he uses I 
the I pronoun, we embrace it. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. The Bible says, try the spirit, hallelujah to God, by, by the, the spirit. Yeah. And if the devil tells you something, you go and you look it up in the book. My sister just said, if the devil say you can't, tell that devil he's a liar. He'll come liar. and say, you know what, you can't do that. Say, Satan, you a liar because the Bible says I can do all things through Christ. Yeah. Thank you. You better find the scriptures to battle this enemy because he will come with his weapons of warfare. And the Bible says our weapons are not carnal, Amen. but they are mighty through God. They're not mighty through you and your <laughs> own efforts. They're mighty through God to the pulling down of every single stronghold. Yes. So if you don't learn anything else today from what our sister said today, when he comes with that, and he comes and saying, you, talking to you specifically, you say, get back, devil. Thank you. You get back because that's not what God says. Uh -huh. Amen. And mm -hmm. for every negative thing that the enemy brings to you, God comes and says, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. Do not bite off. Do not allow the enemy to make you embrace Amen. the falsehoods that he comes and tells Amen. you about yourself. And that's why we walk around with these defeated attitudes because the devil's telling us stuff and we're embracing the I word. Yes. I, can't, I can't. I don't know enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not handsome enough. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. That's the devil. Amen. That's not you. So you tell him to get out of your head and you stop embracing I. Remember, I is the, the center <laughs> letter in the word pride. Stop exactly. being prideful. Because even in pride, we can we can embrace condemnation. Yeah. Stop being prideful. Amen. Amen. And you tell the devil, no, I'm not that. Amen. Amen. I am not. You flip that script and you tell him I am not that. And, and really, that's all I have to say. And I thank Amen. the Holy Spirit for that. Because, Amen. you know, sometimes we think things and you're like, where did that thought come from? Yep. But I want you to understand that the enemy can indeed infiltrate your thoughts. Mm. That's why we got to be careful of what we read, careful oh. about what we watch, careful about the people we listen to, because the enemy will take things that you have heard and twist them and make you embrace them as something that is your own. And you need to stop doing that. Stop drinking the Kool-Aid. Amen. Amen. God bless you for that word this morning, evangelist. It truly blessed my heart. I didn't get all of the scriptures because the, so much was coming. But you know what? If you all want the scriptures, listen to the message again. Yes, again. You know, that that's my admonition. We sit and we listen on Sunday morning and, you know, we hang up and we say goodbye. I love you. And that's it. And nobody goes back and listens to the message again. Mm -hmm. Go listen to the message again, because what you receive is what's going to carry you through the week. That's why God gives specific messages to us. We don't just pick up a book and and, and read it and come and tell you. That's not how it works. Mm -hmm. My sister said, I had a mental block. Well, she was wrong right there because she said, I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, I told the, and I told the bishop to tell her that. I told the bishop, I said, you tell her that it ain't about her writer's block. It's about her opening up her opening spiritual up ears and hearing them from the, the yeah. Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Okay, yeah. it's never about you. So, yeah, she might have had a mental block, but the message that she preached was what God wanted us to hear today, and we should not take it lightly. Somebody's going to need what they heard today. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. I watched Amen. the woman of God come to tears almost because she was talking to herself. When she said, ouch, mm -hmm. this thing was ministering to her. Oh. Okay, it ministered to me because I'm real good at getting discouraged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm real good at getting discouraged, you know, and 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 then you you listen and you watch and things don't fall the way that you want them to fall. It's easy to be wow. discouraged, but don't be discouraged. Just remember what God said, and He is not a man that He should lie. And I'm gonna stop now because I, I I'll be done preach too. So <laughs> so God bless you. Thank you for allowing me, Bishop, to to um indulge. Uh, the thought that the Holy Spirit gave me Praise God. Um, and we need to be mindful um, anytime something negative and opposite of the word of God comes pluck that weed up amen amen I, re I really needed that message today amen look at God you're, you're coming amen you're, hallelujah you're coming to close in prayer is evangelist Sharon amen 
So praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. You know, this is church, and sometimes we get so quiet. But mm-hmm. it's okay to interrupt. It's okay to just say hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Really can okay. we shout out one yeah, this week? But I sure had some last week because I was in the house. Yes. And I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost was in the house. Yes. So mm-hmm. Every message is for me. Even if it's one word. Even if That's it's a right. reminder. So open up your phone this morning. And don't wait on somebody to say a prayer for you or to lead you. Hallelujah. But you say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. We all need that you. word this morning. Amen. Amen. We all get in this courage. Come on, yes. if we are honest. Yes. We all yes. running around here with the vaccine talk and with the COVID talk. And mm. we, we were so discouraged. We didn't even come to church. And when we come to church, the TV was on. When we come I to got, church, the radio was on. When we come to church, we were talking with our children. When we come to church, we were on the streets. Because we all realize we believe more in the building than we believe in God. So this right, morning, God. come on, we all need help to be receiving all right. this life. Yes. We us. got enough prayer going on. So don't wait and meet to encourage you. Open your phone yes. now. This is when you need yes. to say because oh, God, nobody could talk you. for you. You got to get that encouragement for yourself. You, you got to yes. say, God, come here on. I am. God, it's me before you yes. even need a prayer. This one is me Amen. before yes. you even need a help. It's yes. me before you're in the need of love. It's me before you cause of fear. Me, God. But so often, we, we want to say, I said it's prayer at home. No, we don't. No, because we don't. Because if you pray at home, it's easy to pray when you're in a crowd. You better come and on and start to tumble oh, and trip up and butt mm. up and want to come off the line and I got something else to do because my food waiting or because my other church waiting or because my friend waiting, oh, you know God. where you're at. We got to be ready because he is coming. God is tired of us getting yes. ready. He yes. wants a ready people. Oh, you're supposed mm. to stay ready. Come on. Mm. So I'm just yeah. going to pray. Guys, I was in work. I am in work. And I'm running up yes. and down. And I say, God, free me. Free me, Jesus, just to get a praise break. Hallelujah. So I went in a room and I said, hallelujah. Yes. And yes. then I yes. out and I run again. Hey, Amen. 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 So heavenly Amen. God, I gotta bless you this morning. Thank you. God of glory, fire, I yes. magnify you. God, you are bigger. You are bigger than every mountain. You are bigger than bigger. every fear. You are mm. bigger than every pain. You are bigger yes. than every discouragement. You are bigger than every Big. lie. You yes, are Lord. bigger than every condemnation, God. Yes. You are just bigger, God. And Big. Lord, this morning I'm praying that we all release you into the fullness of our life in the yes. mighty right name Father. of Jesus. God, like the word came forth, and said, because we all are called into our purpose. You yeah. have scripted all of us, God, and the only one to stop this is ourselves. Oh, That's right. Right. oh God, may we open up, oh God. May we search ourselves in light of your word, oh God. Right may now, we God. mirror your word and stop mirroring everybody else, God. Yeah. Oh, my stop God. trying to be like other people and want to be like Jesus, God. Yeah. May we stop Lord. trying to see the faults in others, oh God. And realize the force is in me this yes. morning, God. Mm. May we put pluck up, as the word said, God. Pluck, pluck it up. up. Mm. God, you see, when you pluck it up, then pluck we will be up. able to build, God. In order to get a foundation, we got to dig deep down into yes. the soil, God. Mm. May we dig deep, oh God. May we not cut on the surface, God, yes. and pretend, oh God, when we are with one another. But may we pluck it up in the mm-hmm. mighty name, the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Discouragement, insecurity, fear, condemnation, God. All mm. the lies that come from yes. the Father of yes. lies, oh God. That we are able, God, that you pay the price, God. Mm-hmm. It's no longer with a bull and with a dove and with anything, God. But it is by the blood of Jesus yeah, Christ right. that we are mm. able, God, because you were made sin so that we yes, can be made righteous, Lord, God, righteous. so that no sin could stop us from coming into your presence, Come because on. precious blood is what cover us today, yes. God. So, God, as we pluck it up, oh, God, yes. we build you. As we pluck it up, we dig on your word. As yes. we pluck it up, we plant seeds of faith from your up. word in the mm. mighty name of Jesus. Yes. God, as every lie, every weed came forth, God, a prayer came forth, so we could come out of it, oh God. May we adhere, oh God, to the servants of God. And may yes. we not see anyone else today, God. 
for may we see ourselves, especially yes. a word for this unprecedented time, God, yes. where depression and all kind of shun yes. and itis, God, is the word, oh God. Where believers are more sick than unbelievers, God. My where God. believers God. are spending more time talking about vaccination and death and mark of the beast. And you're coming, oh God, more than we are evangelizing, Jesus. My God, May help this us. word, oh God, bring a revelation to our hearts this morning mm. in the mighty name, name of Jesus. Jesus. And oh, as we yes. pluck up, oh God, we put your word. And as your word go deep down, oh God, and we digest. God, yes. we will share it. We will share it. We will tell mm. someone, hear the message today. Even if we don't have the language in for it, God, yes. you have given us YouTube, oh God. May we share it, oh God, today Hallelujah. in the mighty name of Jesus Hallelujah. so we can dissipate all fear and condemnation and discouragement, yes. oh God, where people are not dependent on pills, but they know to depend on the one who created them, yes. the one who is in control of all things, the yeah. one who gives peace in the eyes of the storm, Hallelujah. the one who yes. says it is done and it is completed. God, we give you the honor this morning and give yes. you the glory. God, and I pray for your servant this morning, oh God. Yes. Lord, as she has emptied out to oh God, Bless fill her. her back up, oh God. Bless her. Lord, as she is letting self be slain, oh God. God, mm. let your spirit come forth in the right mighty now, name, of Jesus. name of Jesus. God, let us continue, oh God, to submit herself, oh God, to come under the Holy Spirit, oh yes. God. As you use her mightily yes. to say what you would say, to do what you would do, oh God. And have no fear for anyone else, but just yes. go around giving it all to you as she continues to edify your people. Bless yes. our leader, oh God, in this time. Yes, Bless Jesus. them, oh God. Leadership is a rare tool, oh God. And our world is suffering because of bad leadership. God, God, we thank you for the faithful man and woman you have given us. God, and we thank you for every hand yes. that they have laid upon other leaders, yes. God, that we could trust and follow their direction, God, Jesus. as they continue to follow you, God. We give it all to you, God. Bless every voice, and yes. every ear, under the sound of my voice. God, yes. bless every home. God, let all faith be in for you, God. Every... Lord, provide whatever the need may be. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Oh, God, may we open Ooh. up our mouths and say, but you are a great provider, God. Provide yes. for every household, oh, God. Yes. Save yes. who need saving. Call who need calling, God. Yes. Heal who need healing. Read freedom to who needs it, oh, God. God. Whatever yes. the need may be, God. Don't withhold, we pray. In your precious name. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 You know, God says that there is a time to plant and a time to pluck up. Yep. We're in a season where it's time for both. It's time for us to pluck up the pluck weeds up, and, and plant the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.